Now we're working new details on a local woman's fight to honor her father. For months, the cemetery where he's buried had no American flag flying. But tonight, we're happy to report that old glory is back where it belongs. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Pito joins us now with details live with the Mobile Newsroom. And this all started with an email to Eyewitness News about something that was obviously missing from this Aquidneck Island Cemetery. It's not missing anymore. Michelle D'Alessandra laid her father, Sergeant Lionel Thievers, to rest in June. You served your country well. I'm very proud of you. His World War II job was to protect a U.S. general in Germany on the front lines. Do you ever wonder how many times a German soldier had his gun trained on your father? Actually, I try not to think about it because occasionally I watch war footage movies and to see what all of them went through. It was just something that, you know, so many of us couldn't even begin to imagine. But after the funeral service, she discovered something missing here at Newport Memorial. No flag flying over the veterans' grave sites. We found out vandals cut it down, rope and all. And the cemetery officials told us they had no way to put it back up. Until our street story attracted a dozen offers, including one from a tree service company. Less than a week after our story ran. The flag was flying and Michelle was smiling for her father and all the others laid to rest beside him. What would your father say about you stepping forward and fighting for that flag? He knew how I feel about veterans and I think he'd be proud of me. I think he would. It's just something that obviously they deserve and it's a pleasure to come here now and see that flag flying in their honor. Among the offers to help, a man in Bedford who had a bucket truck, he was willing to come here and help. We also had a fire department willing to help. And a local special forces unit, they offered to shimmy up that flagpole and put the flag back where it belonged. Live with the Mobile Newsroom in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.